In this short video, we're gonna go over the quickest and easiest method to getting the perfect fit for your firearm with the cross tech holster. You're gonna need gloves, you're gonna need a screwdriver, and you're gonna need a heat gun or a two stage, uh, two setting hair dryer. So one with a high and one with a low setting. And on the hair dryer, you're gonna wanna use the high. On the heat gun, typically you're gonna wanna use the low, but you can use the high. And um, before we get started, the holster comes in the package. It looks just like this. Uh, you'll notice it's flexible, kind of a softer material. When you're done with the holster, it's gonna look something similar to this. So it is gonna take the shape, uh, the relative shape of the firearm. You see here, that's where the trigger guard is, uh, the slide, um, the angle of the slide here. And you know, you'll see that the holster took the shape of the firearm very nicely. Before we get started, before we wanna do anything, before we touch any tools, wanna to ensure that the firearm is safe to operate, that it is unloaded, no magazine in there. Another thing to um, note before we get going is the fact that guns, uh, every, every pistol is gonna be different, so, and everybody's different for as far as the grip angle, um, things like that in their firearms, the, the, the angle that the firearm sits in the holster, everything's different for everybody else. So take this as sort of a relative, um, generic way to set this up, but I think this way works for a lot of people. It works for most people that we set firearms up or the, the holsters up for them. So another thing to point out to you, this firearm does have an optic on it. And because we're using heat, you want to be very mindful of the fact that optics, Vortex, Trijicon, uh, some of the other brands out there, some of them use rubber parts or, or plastic components. So you're really going to want to be careful with those. Um, on this Trijicon, these things are pretty much bulletproof but they do have kind of a rubbery uh, button here. And I've set up dozens of holsters on this particular firearm. Has not affected the red dot whatsoever. But just going forward, know that when you're dealing with high heat um, to don't direct the heat onto the, the optic itself. So to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and take the new holster. And because I know how this holster, uh, this gun sets up in this holster, I already know where I'm gonna be placing the adjustment bolts, which are these four bolts here, the inner bolts. But on some guns, you might have to remove one bolt. Uh, some guns, you bring these two in, and you might bring this one in one. But, but really, the fit and and uh, and, uh, and and tension is adjusted with these bolts, and it's going to depend on the user. It's going to depend on the firearm. It's going to depend on the angle of the firearm and how it sits in the holster. Whatever works for you. To get started, because I know that this firearm here works really, really well in a certain position for uh, almost everybody I set it up for, I'm going to go ahead and move the two bottom bolts in one position. And I'll show you how it sits in there when we're done in just a second. Okay, so as you can see uh, from the starting point where those adjustment bolts were, I brought each one of the bottom ones in uh, one position. And some guys I've seen set up for the Glock 19, Glock 17, they'll do it a little bit differently. Uh, some guys take one bolt out on the top. This setup has, for me, it has this configuration and I'll show you why. So when we're putting the gun in for the first time, we're going to want to make sure that the, that the fit is very tight and that you'll notice that the bump, that this bump here, that's actually the, the, the edge of the trigger guard here, the, the edge of the front bottom portion of the trigger guard, actually pushing out the material. And why it's important to see this here is because when we heat the material, this point of tension here is going to relax around the trigger guard, creating kind of a natural stop or a, nat a natural pocket. The way that the holster retains the gun is between these two points here and here, and all of the material it touches on the sides of the slide and the frame. 
And then the other point that it's going to relax is right here on the top of the slide. And you'll kind of see how it looks now with the gun in there under tight tension and how you know it looks here. You can see that this has relaxed quite a bit more than this is already relaxing. And this is taking on the shape of the firearm very, very nicely. So let's go ahead and get that in there. You know, when I'm setting up a holster, I want to be able to make sure I can grab it, grab it very easy, very quickly. So let's go ahead and put on our safety gear here. I got these cool mechanics gloves here and uh, in multicam, so I'm now tactical. I'll set this stuff aside for right now. And um, I'm just using a cheap heat gun that we got at Harbor Freight for, I wanted to say it was like $9 or something. And I, I, I use all this for all the holsters I set up. You can use a hair dryer. On the hair dryer, it takes approximately 10 to 12 minutes uh, of constant heat, you know, kind of going over, going over it on the high setting to, re to get the results that you'll get in this, with this in about three minutes, three to four minutes. So, all right, I've got the gun set in here. I'm going to use the high temperature and I'm just going to hold it back a little bit further, but you can use the low. Low takes about five to six minutes or so, five to eight inches away from the firearm. On high, it takes about three minutes or so and you'll achieve really, really good results. Okay, I'm going to pause here for a second. Um, we're only a couple minutes into the forming process and already the material is, is nice and pliable. Uh, you can see here that the trigger guard is uh, starting to really kind of take that shape of the, of the firearm, or this area here is starting to take the shape of the trigger guard rather. Uh, and we're starting to get a really nice relaxation here at the top of the slide. Perfect, this is exactly what I wanted. And we're going to continue on with the forming process. All right, well, the forming is about as good as I want it to be right now. Um, it's got a good natural stop here, good pocket for the trigger guard. Um, I have really, really nice draping across the top of the slide area. This is gonna be a fantastic uh, holster. This is gonna be really, really cool. Um, so I'm gonna let this cool for about 20 minutes and you don't want to touch this. You don't want to touch this if you don't have gloves on because this is going to be very hot, probably 200 to 250 degrees uh, on the bolts. Uh, the plastic cools down relatively quickly, but your firearm is taking some of that heat as well. So the, the gun's going to be hot, the holster's going to be hot. Don't touch it if you don't have gloves and still be very, very careful if you do have gloves to touch it. The material is going to be quite pliable, quite soft, and if you wanted to get some more technical fitting, you could probably goof around with the, the material when it's in this state. But, but for me, it works just like this. It's gonna look very, very similar to this holster here. I did a little bit more heat on this one than I did on this one, so can't wait to see how this one turns out. All right, we'll be back in about 20 minutes. All right, it's been around 25, 30 minutes. Uh, this has had a chance to cool down. The gun is just slightly warm to the touch. Nothing really, just kind of feels like it's been in the sun a little bit. Holster's nice and cool. Let's go ahead and remove the firearm. As you can see, it's taken on a very, very nice contoured shape um, from what it started out as was just the blank, non-customized holster. You can see that it has really, really nicely conformed to the overall profile of the handgun. And just getting that gun back in there. Lots of really good retention. It's got a really nice stop here where that natural trigger guard pocket is. It's got some really, really nice 
contouring and draping here where the, the slide is. And when you get this, you know, put on your, your belt or inside the waistband, it is going to pull a little flatter just like that and it's going to create its own really nice natural retention. But it still, it still breaks free really, really nicely. Goes back in really nice. And the back, uh, you know, obviously we don't heat the back up for the videos. You can, you can do kind of a double contouring. But I find that, honestly, just the front panel works just fine for me. And I carry this appendix, I carry it inside the waistband, outside the waistband. I haven't tried small of the back, but a lot of the guys here do that. Just the comfortable nature of, of small of the back for some people. Um, but for me personally, I carry appendix or at the one or 130 position. And it works really, really well. Anyways, that's how you set the holster up uh, with a heat gun or a hair dryer. Uh, just remember, you know, don't direct the heat directly on an optic if you have one. Don't spend too much time uh, in one spot with the heat, with direct heat. Otherwise, you're going to, you know, you'll discolor the material. Not a big deal, but if you like that nice matte flat black uh, look, then, you know, five to eight inches away with a heat gun on high setting, just kind of going over it back and forth. There it is. That's how you set it up. Would love to hear what you guys are running, what kind of setups you guys have done. Leave a comment. Let us know.